All right. Hey. Um, okay. So there are not a whole lot of reviews about the cheaper items that are available on Amazon and whatnot. Anyway, I was looking for a case or sleeve for my new M1. There's a lot of discrepancies about what will actually fit in what, especially on websites like Amazon that aren't very specific and the uh, companies that sell them are a little bit um, vague about what exactly will fit and what will not. So um, I'm taking a look at two things today that I grabbed. Um, one of them is the Inatech sleeve um, and the other one is this other thing that I found um, called, I guess it's Nidu uh, or Nidu, no, it's a Archel, well, hard bumper kind of sleeve. Um, yeah, all right, let's uh, take a quick look. Okay, so starting with the Inatech sleeve. Um, it looks like it's made of some sort of synthetic material. It feels like a ripstop nylon kind of thing, but I don't know if it's actually ripstop nylon. Um, simple basic zippers. They're not weather sealed or anything like that. It's got a little front pouch. And on the inside, fairly simple. Oh, right. It comes with a little tech pouch, it seems like. I'm look at that in a second. So the inside is this like microfibery synthetic cloth. It's fairly soft. Um, not a whole lot of cushion, maybe like a few millimeters, like half a centimeter or so of cushioning on the back side and on the front side feels about the same, if not a little bit thinner. Um, and now really for the moment of truth, how does it actually fit? Um, so you can see plenty of room. Matter of fact, there's about a thumb space over here. It's a little loose, so just closing it up for a second. Oh yeah, it's sliding around in there. So it's not super secure. There's about this much empty space in the side of it, um, which I mean, I suppose is not terrible. That's just not my flavor of case. Like if I want a sleeve, I want it to be slim and I want it to be form fitting because I want it to take up as little space as possible. So for me so far, it's a little big for my taste, but let's just keep going really quick. So this sleeve, this little additional pocket seems to have a fair amount of room. You could probably put a charger, charger cable, and a little uh, adapter or something in there. And yeah, that all fits nicely. Um, it fits, not necessarily a fan of it. Um, I guess this is really designed for more like notebook, maybe like just a small cable or two if you wanted maybe you could slip like a portable hard drive dinky uh, for instance right into there um, along with your charger and a cable and a dongle Ooh, nah, it's getting a little snug yeah there you go so it fits it's just doesn't really suit the aesthetic very well. So, oh, I don't know if this is actually useful, this pocket. I'm sure it is, and I'm sure somebody will find a good use for it. But besides that, I'm just not thrilled about how much bigger it is than the actual computer. And if you look at it this way, you notice that there is like a fair amount of space on the edge. And when it's inside, it's noticeable. Um, it doesn't have any kind of bumper or corner cushions or anything like that. While the bottom is fairly cushiony, it's no more padded than the back or the front, so it's about equal padding all around all around the way. A lot of uh, a lot of these ones will actually feature sort of a, uh, a boning on the inside that makes it uh, a little bit more rigid and offers it a little more protection from bumps. And then the zippers, they could like scratch it up, so if you're keen on keeping your MacBook 
uh, scratch free, this might not be the way to go. It's not bad, it's just a little sad. Um, next thing that it came with was this. And it's just like a little uh, little tech pouch and they got the little leather strap which matches the little leather tab here. Um, let's see, what can it do? Um, yeah, it's like a little, uh, little tech pouch. Let's see what can fit in here. All right. Could put that in there. I could probably put that right over top. Put you right here. Put you right there. Where you fit. Yeah, that's it. Just a little tech pouch. Yeah, and I'm sure you could probably configure it to your heart's desire. So all of this fits inside that. You could probably squeeze a couple more things into it, but there's there's no padding, so it is just a pouch. It's just a nylon zip pouch. That's all it is. Um, so yeah, this is my and uh, yeah, personally, I don't know. I'm gonna think about this. Okay, so next up is this uh, Nidu N I D O O. Nidu. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is just a very basic sleeve with this kind of faux leathery uh, material, which is kind of nice actually. It's like a, it's almost like leather, it's a leatherette. And, and I don't mind the color at all actually. This gray looks really nice to me. Um, and I like that the logo is, um, it's a relief and it's not, huge and it's not like a giant advertisement it doesn't really stand out too much um and it's very lightweight uh what i actually really like about this is that it's a uh, it's got a bumper that goes all the way around um and it is fairly rigid it's got a, a little additional bit of padding a little bit of thicker rubber or whatever this material is composite um to sort of take impacts i guess um and then at the top it's a little magnetic closure. Uh, I don't know how strong those magnets are. I don't even know if it's actually magnetic, but it feels like it might just be well made. And then on the inside, which is harder to see because it's such a tight sleeve, is a, what feels like a microfiber synthetic uh, fabric. Um, it's actually quite soft. Uh, now this doesn't offer much in the way of protection from like in, in this direction. Um, it's got a little bit, so I mean, you get the leather, the leatherette, and then probably some sort of padding in between, and then you get the microfiber on the inside, which keeps your uh, laptop surface from getting scratched, which is lovely. So let's go ahead and slide this in. And again, this is the uh, 2020 M1 13-inch MacBook. Um, and let's see, let's just pop it open. Ooh, slides in nice and it closes right away, snaps shut. And not, oh, that is snug, I like that. That is not a lot of space. Just a, a touch. Uh, and you had to really move it. Like, I figure if it's in a backpack or in a messenger bag and it's just doing a little bit of movement, it doesn't really move. But if you're slopping it around, I don't know if slopping is a word, but um, yeah. With the MacBook in it, that is how thin it is. Um, this is actually very nice. I like this a lot. And what's interesting is that a little bit of air gets in there, so it kind of has this almost like an air cushion in a way. Um, question is, does it? Please don't fall. Yeah, it's pretty secure, didn't come open. Um, and then how, how easy is it to get in and out is another question, so. Cool. Look at that. I like this. Um, and then you can actually use it as a little, if you wanted to. Um, very simple, some nice detailing, some nice stitching along the side that matches the leather. 
the bumper aspect of it feels nice and solid. Um, this looks like a knockoff of the in-case icon sleeve. Um, now the in-case sleeve actually flips all the way back, but this one just uh, sort of like a purse, like a clutch, just opens up. Um, it's fairly rigid, snaps shut nicely. Um, yeah, and it doesn't really add much thickness to the MacBook itself. So let's just take a look. And I don't know if you can really tell, but it's a hair's breadth thicker. It's about the same. Yeah. Now this doesn't come with a pouch or anything like that, but this is just a sleeve for your MacBook only. And if you're trying to just tote your MacBook around, I know this is what I'm actually liking the most so far. So, fits right in, closes right up. Yeah, it's nice. Lamps shut. Slide in and out. Yeah, I like this. First things first, my first general impression my first general impression. Um, this is the one I'm gonna keep. Um, I really dig it. I mean, it fits the laptop perfectly. Um, it's snug. There's only a little bit of room around the edges, which just gives it a touch of air around the side. So it's not like, it's not a total pain to get out. If you wanted, you could probably put like a skin on your laptop and still have it fit inside of this. I don't think it would fit if you had a case on the laptop. Um, now that said, this, uh, this guy, the Inatec sleeve, um, is like any other sleeve. Um, it's actually quite roomy on the outside, probably about half an inch in all directions, which makes it a little wobbly if you don't have a case on the laptop itself. But if you do have a case, this would probably accommodate it. Um, I think there's enough room. It would certainly add to the thickness a little bit, but, um, the fact that this thing is floppy, doesn't have any kind of corner protection. Mm, you know, I, I, I just, I wanted more out of this little thing. Um, and it just hasn't, hasn't done it for me. The zippers feel a little cheap and flimsy. Um, while the, I like the look of it, um, it's just not my personal, not my personal thing. I actually like the little leather tab on the side, uh, the additional zipper on the front. It's fine, but it begs the question, why do you need this? So um, this, I think, is fine on its own for your accessories. The front offers a fair amount of stuff. Um, you can put pens, pencils, your phone, keys, a bunch of little things, and then your tech pouch, I guess. I'm calling it a tech pouch. I don't know what they call it. Um, they probably have some fancy schmancy word for it. It's a piece of fabric with a zipper. Um, you can fit a handful of things in there, hard drive, uh, charger, cable, uh, phone, keys, you know, maybe some snacks or some, um, some jerky of some kind if you wanted. Beyond that, it's, um, I don't know. I mean, I, if you need something like this, great, it'll do. It comes with it for free. Well, it comes with it as part of the price. Um, and at the price point, they're fairly reasonable. I think. What is the price point? Oh, I can't remember. Um, so this one, the Inatech with the tech sleeve was uh, 20 bucks on Amazon, somewhere in that neighborhood. You might be able to find it on sale for cheaper. But for 20 bucks, you know, it's a sleeve. It does its job. Um, it's noisy. Um, I would have loved if they had some sort of like rubberized coating or something because that's just loud and annoying to me. Um, on the other hand, this, uh, with this sort of faux leather, uh, it's also, apparently it's water resistant. Um, I'm not gonna test it, but I imagine like if you get a little bit of liquid on here, it's probably fine. Just don't let it sit, use a napkin and common sense. Um, the corners make it quite impact resistant. Um, if you're putting it in a backpack or inside of a messenger bag, this is the one that I would go for. And it only is, 
is uh, $27, I think, on Amazon. Um, and honestly, I really dig it for 20, for 27 bucks. Like this is pretty solid. Uh, I really dig it uh, compared to the $70 that in case charges for something very, very similar. And maybe, maybe theirs is better. I don't doubt it, but this does the same thing. Um, and at a fraction of the cost. So for me, for my money, this one's the way to go. Um, that's all I got to say about it. Hope you found it helpful. See you around.